नमस्कार सत श्रीकाल सलाम हेलो दोस्तों एक बार फिर से स्वागत है आपका आपके फेवरेट यूट्यूब फाइनेंशियल एजुकेशन चैनल स्टॉक इनकम डॉट आई एन एज यू नो आई एम आलोक वर्मा एंड आई ट्रेड रेगुलरली इन द इंडियन मार्केट्स आई इन्वेस्ट एज वेल एंड आई एनालाइज फॉर माई ओन रीजन द मार्केट्स ऑन अ रेगुलर बेसिस एंड दैट इज द एनालिसिस दैट आई शेयर विद यू राइट मैं अपने लिए मार्केट एनालाइज करता हूँ आपसे शेयर करता हूँ सो I hope it is useful to you. At the same time, standard disclaimer: I am a CBA registered investment advisor. I am not. Nothing that I say should be considered as an advice to buy or sell anything in the stock markets. Please do your own analysis or take professional advice. Right. So let's talk about market outlook for the week, which is starting on 25th of July 2022. Right. And uh, naturally, we draw clues from what has happened so far and try to project what. should happen or what could happen so in the last week if you look at the key news and the data so in that indices play a important role so let's talk of some key indices key indices for this week nifty bank nifty what a fabulous week we have had it's such a such a delight to see such a strong performance from our indices after very long time we have not had a consistent up move last week was good and this week is even better nifty moved up 4.7% 4.17% and bank nifty was up 5.13% great strength shown by both the indices none of the days it was down neither of the indices both indices moved up every day of the week so that was very heartening to see and if you talk of international indices s&p 500 and nasdaq they were also up they also showed strength not as strong as uh, indian indices but reasonably up 2.5% S&P 500 and Nasdaq 1.97% close to 2%. So that was good. FII and DII data. We know FII, we have been having some problem, some concern with the FII. FIIs have been selling for months and months and months and uh, May June were very very heavy selling months. Let's see what we have in store for July so far. And it is a bit of delight there is a green uh, thing there, green data there. On the monthly basis FIIs are still sellers. 6422 crores but on a weekly basis they have purchased 4037 uh, crores which is something we have seen after a very long time almost a year almost a year right dis have been supporting so that is uh, some change of sentiment in there from the fii point of view and probably that's reflecting in how markets have behaved right markets pc shayad एक वजह यह भी है कि मार्केट बढ़ रहा है क्योंकि आफ्टर मेनी मेनी मंथ्स एफ आई एज ने बाइंग क्लियर बाइंग शो करी है राइट ओके नेचुरली ऑल दिस फिगर्स आर इन आई एन आर करोर्स रिजल्ट सीजन चल रहा है वी हैव मेनी रिजल्ट सेट ऑफ कम इन सो हिंदुस्तान यूनिलीवर ग्रेट रिजल्ट अब एक्सपेक्टेशन एच डी एफ सी लाइफ एंड विप्रो लिटिल बिलो एक्सपेक्टेशन इंडसिन बैंक अगेन सिग्निफिकेंटली अब एक्सपेक्टेशन रिजल्ट देव गिवन right it was a bit of a surprise and that's why the stock has rallied very much in the last 2 3 days reliance industries great set of results however in line with expectations right so they have not uh, surpassed the expectations but per se they have had the best quarter ever so good ultra tech cement again above expectations so results have been largely good at least this week and india vix has been reducing it's a fear index we know it it is now at 16.7 which is close to normal level still a bit high but much closer to normal level so people are feeling confident about the markets and that's what india vix is telling us crude oil which is another factor is gone up by 1% to close at 99 dollar the brent crude for this week right uh, during the week it showed volatility even went up to 104 plus but then closed at 99 this is still high right uh not as bad as what it was 3 5 4 weeks back but still a uh, cause of concern most experts feel that oil prices could stay at similar levels elevated levels for some time to come now right let's see european commercial bank ecb they have increased the interest rates uh, no surprise there because they had already indicated pehle but un indication diya tha ke 0.25% aur पॉइंट और 25 फाइव बेसिस पॉइंट जिसको हम बोलते हैं बढ़ा बढ़ा सकते हैं बट थर्सडे उन्होंने एक्शन लिया एंड सरप्राइज इज ऑन द लिटिल नेगेटिव साइड उन्होंने 25 बेसिस पॉइंट 25 फाइव बेसिस पॉइंट का इंडिकेशन दिया था बट दे एक्चुअली इंक्रीज बाय 50 बेसिस पॉइंट सो दिस वाज बिकॉज क्लियरली शोज दे आर वेरी कंसर्न अबाउट इन्फ्लेशन राइट 
remember this is the first hike in about 11 12 years that ecb has done right to, since 2011 they have not increased ever interest rates right so this is significant rupee has been weakening we talked about it earlier also and this week uh, gone by rupee breached the 80 dollar mark it uh, rupees 80 per dollar mark also so uh, that is a uh, lot of concern to many people it actually helps uh, weak rupee actually helps the exporters unko acha fayda hota hai unko right unko exports competitive ho jate hain but then india is a net importer and imports hamare mehenge ho jate hain so that becomes a problem for us a weak rupee but that is how it is uh, let me also say this rupee has been weaker against the us dollar but not against many other important currencies like euro so unke uh, comparison mein yeah, rupee has been good in fact sometimes it has shown strength compared to these uh, these currencies so but against dollar kyun weak hai because practically all currencies are weaker against dollar in the last few weeks right so the, the there's a uh, uh, thing called dxy right it's a dollar basket that dollar basket has been gaining strength so dollar has been gaining strength basically yeah okay so but rupee is showing some steadiness at 80 levels right it went below 80 uh, above 80 so to say and then come back again so it's trying to maintain hold this level let's hope it holds hoshiar singh ki hoshiari we know our friend hoshiar singh who is not familiar who doesn't know hoshiar singh right hoshiar singh is our friend and a street smart guy jo chalti hui cheezon ko bahut jaldi pakadte hain short term mein thoda focus inka zyada rehta hai to let's see unka kya opinion hai is bare mein is week kya bataya unhone hame so he is talking about it stocks it stocks have been down for many weeks and last week it had a fabulous rally IT index closed up about 6.4%. Many stocks went up, including the bigger names TCS, Infosys, etc. But the mid caps showed very, very good traction, very good uh, up move. Some things like persistent systems and uh, KPIT, LTTS, all of them, them have shown very good movements in the range of 8 to 10% or more. So, I'm not saying buy or sell these stocks, but what Hushar Singh is saying is, is it the right time to buy? Because IT bahut, like most other sectors was down for many weeks and it is showing some strength now. So is it a good time because names are attractive, they are the biggest names in the stock market, Infosys and TCS etc, Wipro, what not. So, but however, Hushar Singh is not so excited, right? He feels it's a bit of a relief rally, that's his opinion. And most, why he says that? Because most IT stocks so far have reported muted earnings, right? Barring, there have been exceptions, right? But muted earnings. Management commentary has also been not very upbeat. upbeat. Management has not said that we are going to have great growth and all. They talked of challenges ahead also, some headwinds. So, management commentary has been not been upbeat. Headwinds in the US, which is their main market, they remain. Right? The concerns of recession there, concerns of high inflation in US. So, all that put together and Hushar Singh thinks the, it was a relief rally. IT stocks per se seem to be good, but may not be great in the short term, right? So they may be sideways for the next one or two quarters. Let's see. Okay. Now let's talk of technicals. Technicals kya bolte hai? So this is a chart of Nifty daily chart. And if we look at it, we are looking at, these are the levels that I have pointed out, which could be support and resistance levels. The levels above the current price are resistance levels levels below current price are support levels so i feel the nifty could face some support uh, some resistance sorry at 16800 or 17000 and if breaches that 17400 these are three resistance level similarly supports can come at 16400 16200 and 16000 my clear opinion nifty could train tra trade in this week between 16200 and 17000 and these are the levels that i have listed out in the red color right if you look at nifty options chain not telling us anything significant but for the fact if you look at there is much more put writing than call writing so market is up market participants feel that it could be safer to sell puts market is more likely to move up the bias is upward right coming to bank nifty again i have plotted the levels and i feel Bank Nifty could trade between 35,500 to 37,300 for this week and those levels have marked them in the red, right? So let's see if, if these levels hold and Bank Nifty option chain also shows us a similar story wherein there is much more put writing than call writing which again indicates that participants feel market could 
inch up in the coming days right so that's largely from me for this week friends thank you for sharing your time spending your time spending your effort for liking the channel do share it with your friends with the people whom you love whom who could also possibly benefit from it put in your comments right good bad ugly feel free to write we all learn from each other thank you till we meet next